This is one of the only videos I remember going to have to uh, take two takes on because I forgot my intro. All right. Hi, everyone. This is Gio, the leader of the Rideshare Revolution, the realest, the funniest, the handsomest, and the beardedest driver on YouTube. And uh, I just got done driving today after a semi-profitable day. It didn't go as well as I wanted to. But I'm still doing okay. Um, I... Uh, I did something I told my, my, my subscribers not to do today, and I I went on uberpeople.net. Um, I noticed that some of my videos found their way into that forum a couple weeks ago. And uh, this is one thing, this is one thing I think it's funny about uberpeople.net and like the Facebook groups is apparently if you drive for Uber or Lyft or anything and you make any kind of money doing it. Uh, apparently you're some kind of undercover Uber employee and you're just trying to, you're just trying to get people to sign up, you know, promising earnings that aren't possible. Like if I'm an Uber employee, why am I telling my subscribers not to take pools? Why am I telling them about using destination filters to avoid uh, airport trips from 5 30 to 7 o'clock in the morning yeah i'm an uber employee but uber if you're watching this video uh 85k a year cash make it happen i feel like you're getting a great deal for that um but i did see this post on uberpeople.net about something about how how drivers are turning into slaves of uber right it was like oh we're turning into uber slaves and there was a picture of something that i had to download now this might get some of you pissed off. All right. Let's show that on the screen really quick. A rider recently claimed that you declined his or her, her trip based on the destination provided, which is prohibited by our community guidelines and the local regulations of many areas. If we receive Additional claims of this, your account may be permanently deactivated. If you do not, de if you did not decline a trip based on the destination provided, please reply and let us know the details to what happened. Thanks. That is super hard to read backwards. <laughs> okay. The reason I'm, I'm talking about this is because Uber did send, send out an email a while ago talking about destination discrimination, how we are not allowed to, we are not allowed to deny a passenger a ride based on where they're going. And I'm going to 100% side with Uber, with any app on this one. If you get a ride request, and you accept it, and the person gets in your car, you start the trip, and then you say, no, we're not going there, then you deserve to be deactivated. As simple as that. Um, Cause that is, that is discrimination. Now I know some of you are already be like, well, I saw your, I saw your South side pool video. You don't take pools from the South side. You're absolutely right. I do not take pools from the South side. I don't even take pools from the North side. But there's a difference. I never accept a trip from someone on the south side. Or, for example, I've gotten Uber X trips on the south side. If I get an Uber X trip from, let's say, Hyde Park, and they're going further south to, like, 79th Street, which has happened, I would never say, no, I'm not going further south. If I was uncomfortable with the, with, with the place I was at after I dropped off the passenger... Then I would turn off the app and head back north. That's, and that's perfectly allowable to do. That's not, that's not a bad thing to do on the app. If someone were to get in my car around Hyde Park and say, hey, we're going to 79th Street, and I say, no, I refuse to go there, then that's a problem. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, and this counts for airport. This is something I've had it in with my group chat members too. 
Um, for example, that's why I tell everyone, if you don't want us to get stuck with an O'Hare trip or midway trip between 5.30 and 7 o'clock in the morning, use your destination filters and you will not get stuck with an airport trip during that time, which, will, which can uh, ruin your morning. Um, that's why I say everyone, use your destination filters wisely. Until the apps tell us, okay, you're only allowed to use destination filters if you're actually going home, then until then, keep using them. It's a, it is a tool that I'm utilizing on the app. Um, but like I've said before, like I'm using them to my advantage. I'm not only because if I take an airport ride at six o'clock in the morning, my morning's fucked. I'm, I'm, I essentially cannot make any more real money that morning and I'm being taken away from a profitable part of the city. So that's why I'm, I'm telling all of you guys, cause I do want my subscribers and drivers, especially in Chicago, you gotta, I know we're independent contractors, but you have to stay within the, the you gotta stay within the regulations. Um, if we start, cause that's, 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 that's bum shit in my opinion. Cause I've, once you, once you start a trip and you don't like where someone's going, I mean, above anything, you gotta be professional. You know, like you're, you, you signed up to do this. That is part of the job. If you don't like taking passengers in certain areas, then maybe this isn't for you. I mean, like I said, I know I told you guys I don't do, I don't do pool pickups on the south side, which I don't. Um, but like, I've ended up in Hammond, Indiana. I've ended up in Waukegan, like 13 miles from the border of Wisconsin. I've ended up in Geneva. I've ended up, I remember one trip, uh, this is the closest I ever came to telling a passenger to get out of my car. I remember this was a Saturday night and uh, I picked up this 20 year old, he, he hopped in the front seat, we're talking. And then I, I start the trip and he was going to, uh, let me make sure I got the town of this right. It was a, it was a, it was a haul. It was like Saturday clock at like 10 45 at night. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. What was the name of that town? I'm trying to think it was South. Hold on one second guys. Sorry. Sorry about this. I want to say it was Glenwood. I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was up there. It was south. It, yeah, it, it was, it was like a 45 minute trip heading south. Uh, the guy was cool as hell. Um, I didn't, I didn't tell him I'm not taking you there. What I did say when he was in the front seat, I was like, dude, you really fucked me on this trip. I told him that cause, uh, there was three different concerts getting out at three different parts of the city at 11 o'clock. And since I have two devices, as you guys know, I, I saw the surge started going like crazy, like five minutes after I picked them up. I'm just like, Oh God. Luckily I got a trip request. Um, I got a trip request from, from a concert. I think it was like by Tinley park. Um, not Tinley Park. It was somewhere else. Anyway, I got a trip request from a concert, and they were going. They were coming back up north. So luckily, you know, it kind of worked out. But, but to this day, I have never picked up a passenger and said, "We're not going there." To this day, um, and I'm like a hundred trips away from seven thousand trips. So. Again, just just to reiter reiterate this this video, uh, do not do not um, do not cancel on a passenger based on their destination, because that can get you in big trouble, and it really can, obviously. And uh, this goes for uh, uh, airport rides too. I, I know I know that's kind of like the the cherry picking trick that drivers do is they'll call the pasture first and be like hey where are you headed and if they say the suburbs then you're like oh could you cancel on me i actually have other shit to do 
I mean, come on, guys. Like, that is straight bum shit. That's, that is the kind of shit that it just, that's, that's not allowable. That's, I know everyone's doing this to make money, but guess what? You have to play by the rules. We all have rules we have to, we have to abide by. And that's one of them. So, uh, that's all I got for this video, I think. Um, I wasn't planning on making one today, except except for when I saw that post, and I'm just like, oh, God. Because I've heard about those emails getting sent out, but I've never seen one before. So, I just thought that was pretty funny. I think we're coming down with a cold. I'm stuffy. You guys hear that? Um, Yeah, that's all I got, guys. Uh, I'll be back out there early tomorrow. I uh, hope everyone's having a good night, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the Ride Share Revolution, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.